All right, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and sit down. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Commander and I'm the one that's gonna be briefing you on the SCP you're about to go study. So I suggest you pay attention. What we're looking at today is SCP-879, object class Euclid. Special containment procedures, revised 2000. Due to the successful capture of SCP-879, it is to be stored in a reinforced aquatic specimen tank measuring 30 by 20 by 10 meters on site. SCP-879 is to be kept in a chemically induced coma via intravenous injection. It requires no nutrients outside of bi-weekly hydrogen sulfide injections. All tools that come in contact with SCP-879 are to be fully sterilized as to prevent accidental spread or exposure of the entity's pheromones. The former Site-55 and all specimens of SCP-879-2 contained therein are to be remotely observed by drones operated from the Foundation Research Ships Andromeda, Alcatraz, and Black Martin. A 20-kilometer security perimeter is to be kept around Site-55 at all times. Description. SCP-879 is an oceanic mammal measuring 26 meters in length, which is about 85.3 feet, bearing a strong resemblance to the order Cetacea. The creature has smooth skin, which is primarily black with a white underbelly, and moves by means of a flucked tail and 10 sets of flippers. The two foremost pairs are highly muscular and are still used as rudimentary limbs during breaching. While SCP-879 is toothed, it also possesses a set of retractable baleen. SCP-879 exudes a powerful pheromone based in epidural oils with several mind-altering effects in humans over a range of approximately 100 meters, as well as the capability of further spread through physical contact. Those exposed to the pheromone will seek out SCP-879 with single-minded determination, ignoring all but the strongest of outside stimuli. Study of subject's brain chemistry indicates a state resembling sexual attraction. Upon encountering SCP-879, subjects will strip themselves of clothing, make physical contact with the entity, and data expunged. Surgical removal is only viable within the first hour of absorption and has only been effective in percent of attempts. SCP-879 currently has no fewer than 73 individual humans absorbed into its own body, which now exist as vestigial clusters of organs. The subject's neural and cardiovascular systems are linked to that of SCP-879, while unnecessary systems such as the digestive and respiratory have atrophied. This effectively grants SCP-879 a secondary nervous system and the appropriate means to oxygenate it as well as the functions granted by repurposing of these grafts. Absorbed bodies fall into one of three categories. Sexual. Grafts will be repurposed into reproductive organs, supplying eggs and sperm to SCP-879 and granting it the capability of hermaphroditic reproduction. Chemosynthetic. Grafts will become organs housing specialized bacteria which feed off hydrogen sulfide that has been absorbed by SCP-879 and are used as a steady supply of energy. Unspecialized. Grafts will serve no further purpose after absorption. SCP-879 was first seen in 1976 when it breached itself on the island housing Site-55 coordinates redacted off the coast of Antarctica and proceeded to absorb the staff present and spawn the first generation of SCP-879-2. This breeding site has been used for all subsequent generations with an average of three to four years between breachings. Outside of reproduction, SCP-879's recorded pre-containment behavior consisted solely of seafloor hibernation periods used to absorb hydrogen sulfide from deep water vents in a migratory swimming pattern contained within an approximately 1,200 square mile section of the Antarctic and South Pacific Oceans. There have been nine recorded generations of Dash 2 classified as SCP 879 2A to 2I, and a total of 86 individuals living on Site 55 as of 2000. The appearance of these differs from brood to brood. Earlier generations bear more resemblance to humans, while later ones will more closely resemble SCP 879. All specimens of Dash 2 have shown aggression toward any intrusion upon Site 55 by Foundation personnel, and no individuals are capable of moving themselves any significant distance away from Site 55. 
It is believed that Dash 2 would have reached full development by the 12th generation. Addendum 1. 2000. Due to a shift in SCP-879's migration pattern, which brought it dangerously close to Tasmania and the Australian coast, Operation Bellyflop was ordered by the O5 board, carried out by Dr. and Agent Addendum 2. 2000. Operation Bellyflop concludes as a success. SCP-879 was brought under Foundation control, but with more physical damage than originally projected. Dr. was put under disciplinary review for causing needless damage to an SCP item. Addendum 3. 2010. Footage recorded by drones observing Site 55 shows two 2 individuals, 897-2I-3 and 879-2H-6 respectively, displaying mating behavior. Results of said behavior remain inconclusive. Observation of Site 55 has been increased and five members of Task Force Gamma 6 deployed to the Black Martin to provide further support. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was SCP-879. You're dismissed.